What's up, bosses? This is Tarlene Raman Figueroa, your brand consultant at Boss Diplomat, making you look so good you can't be ignored. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So let's find out what rabbit hole I will be diving into today with today's question of the day. Ooh, this question is juicy because I can talk about this day in, day out, and I will and I can because I have this channel. <laughs> okay, so today's rabbit hole question is, what is personal branding and why is it important for solopreneurs? So, solopreneurs, you have your work cut out for you because when you work for yourself, literally everything falls on your shoulder. Everything from selling, sales, marketing, accounting, blah, 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 like everything under the sun is on your shoulders. What? You, my dear, have a very, very, very hard job to do and your brand should not let you down. In fact, your brand should be lifting you up. Your brand is the foundation of your business. Your brand should speak volumes on your behalf without you having to even speak or be seen or having to do anything. Your brand is your representative. Your brand should really be able to tell people who you are, what you do, what you specialize in, why you are the boss of the industry, what niche you're covering, all in one, without you having to say a word. That is the power of personal branding. And the reason why I'm focusing on personal branding rather than just branding in general is because of you. You are the boss. You are the reason why this business has started to begin with, okay? You are not answering to somebody else. This is your business. You have decided in some shape or form that you have this product or this service that you want to now share with the rest of the world. And you made a really conscious and really difficult decision to do that. It doesn't matter what that reason is. That reason is highly personal to you. And with your personal brand, we are gonna like crack open the door like this much so that people understand why you are doing what you're doing you don't have to give them a big sob story <laughs> or you don't have to tell them your whole life story or you don't have to give them an essay about all of the reasons you wanted to start your brand like you can that could be a one sentence thing i started my business because boom let me be straight you started this business because number one you can do it better than anyone else right Number two, you don't want to work for somebody else. Like screw that, you don't want to work for somebody else. You want to work on your own merit. You want to be in control of your own time. You want freedom. You want autonomy. You want to create. You want more time doing other things other than making somebody else rich. You want to be in control. That really is the heart of things. Control is huge. You know, when you work for somebody else, you relinquish that control. That control is given to someone else. You are feeding somebody else's dream. You're feeding somebody else's bottom line. And that can cause you to feel trapped. Like, why am I doing this? I don't even like doing what I'm doing. But when you become your own business owner, when you are an entrepreneur, I like saying solopreneur because it's just you and you and you alone. Even if you have a spouse, a partner, you know, uh, a team of people, you are the key decision maker behind this business. And it's so, so important that you are not anonymous, that you are not hiding behind the scenes. You're not a mouse, like don't run away the minute a client comes looking for you, okay? Don't be, don't be a cockroach going, oh, don't see me. Ooh. Ugh. No, no, no. You need to be right in front. You're showing your confidence. You're showing that you are ready to receive them and take them on as your client. You are telling them, dude, I'm here for you. I'm here to serve you. I'm here to help you. I'm here to make your life better. I'm here to bring a solution to this very sticky problem that you have. And I'm the only person who can solve that for you because I'm that freaking good or one of the things i see a lot with solopreneurs is this daunting feeling and realization that you are acting as an imposter right the imposter syndrome is so so real fake it till you make it like seriously fake it till you make it 
But you're not faking it. You are doing it. Even if you have not launched your business, you are still hustling, right? You're still working to make sure all of the puzzle pieces fit in your business. You're still trying to figure out what service that you want to provide, how to package it up, how to price it, how to get into the market, how to compete with all of these other very well-established businesses who are vying for the same attention of, um, of the very same clients that you are chasing after. These are all very difficult and heavy work that you have to do at the beginning before you launch your business. The one thing that a lot of business owners do not think about is their brand. And when you do think about your brand, you're like, well, I've got my colors, I've got my logo, slap it on, I'm done with it. Your business is more than your colors and your logo and don't freaking get me started about those two issues. That's not your brand, okay? Your logo is pretty much that postage stamp that goes in front of the envelope, so it goes someplace, okay? Your colors is just another way for you to show off your brand and your personality and your vibes. But there needs to be a reason behind why you've chosen something. Why did you choose that brand? Or did you just relinquish your power and give somebody else that creative input? Or your cousin made that logo for you and you're like, yeah, you could do art, I can't do art. Okay, let's use it. That's not good enough. You could do better. We can get your cousin to do your logo again, but there needs to be a very strategic reason why you chose what you chose rather than just say, that looks good let's do it okay that's the same thing with your colors too where did you pull that color out from like what does it represent and don't get me started on the freaking color psychology i can talk at length about why i do not agree with solopreneurs sticking with the color psychology theory so remind me to talk to you about that in a different episode but if everyone was to use the color psychology chart and look at what other companies in your industry are choosing for their colors, guess what? You become generic. There is no personality. There is no other reason to choose those colors other than the fact that it takes this like psychological like checkbox. We are moving away from those checkboxes. Remember, you are in control of your business. It is 100% on your own merit with what you do with your business. Forget about what other people say. Don't listen to your mom or your brother or your or your best friend. They're not your target audience. Don't listen to them. Just say thank you for the feedback and move on. And work with a professional who actually knows what they're talking about, okay? So your personal brand is about you in your business and in front of your business. This is not an opportunity for you to just like shed all of your layers and go, oh, this is what happened in my life and this is what's going on and you know this is this is not a reality tv show your brand story is a very small slither of who you are and why you are doing what you're doing in your business and why you are in the perfect position to solve this very specific issue that's what your brand story should be about you are only opening door up a tiny crack but that is enough for people to go huh that person's been really vulnerable with me and they just showed a part of them that I can really relate to you. I need to see more. You've got their curiosity, right? And they want to learn more about you now. So now they're going to crawl through your website and your Instagram page and all of the other marketing materials that you have and check you out on Google. They're going to do their due diligence now because they're now interested. You've caught their attention. Well done. That's the hardest part. The hardest thing to do is get the right attention from the right people. Not everyone is going to be your client and your personal brand is going to really help you figure out specifically who your target audience is. And your target audience isn't this. It's not this massive funnel, uh, massive funnel with this tiny little tube. It's gonna be this. It's gonna be a tiny little window of people that you help with, with a mm, with a massive funnel. So you get more clients who are higher quality, which means you get more money in your business, but you work less. Yes, that's the power of personal branding. And my job as your brand consultant is to help you get that power. Let me give you your power back because you have it. You have 100% control. Now what you do with that control is a completely different story. 
how you make decisions how you base those decisions if it's money or if it's something else if it's time there's a multi-layer that goes after your brand um, and this is what be your brand is all about is to give you those layers to help you understand how you start to build on top of your foundations your competitors could do the exact same thing for the exact same person that you are trying to attract but your vibes and your personality will be completely different from your competitors because they're not you, right? They are not you. You have a very different story to, to share than the guy next door. Very, very different. And this is what's going to separate you apart from your competitors. And there's a lane for every business. So you could be in the most crowded marketplace but you still have a lane that you're gonna stick with. You can overlap, Over, I don't recommend overlapping, you can overlap your services, but it's very important that you stick with your lane and go as far into that lane as possible because some people, right, so imagine this is a lane, you're right at the beginning, your competitors could be here, and you're right at the beginning, right? Eventually, you're going to pass your competition and then you're going to keep going and going. And next thing you know, you're floating. You're like, oh shit, this is, ah, this is uncharted territory. You've beaten your competition already because they're only here and they're stuck with their lane. They're not able to push forward because there's certain things in the business that is wrong and they need to fix it and they don't know where to fix it. Most likely, it's going to be their branding or their messaging. Their messaging and their branding could be wrong, the foundation could be very weak, and they're not able to push forward. But you already have that figured out because you are smart and you're working with a brand consultant and you fixed your branding and you're able to just go, wee. we don't know where you're gonna land. You can land here, 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 off the screen. <laughs> That's the beauty of having your own business. You don't know where you're going to end up, but you know that you're gonna soar and you're gonna fly. The rules are there to keep you in your own box. Now you have a business, those rules just come down. And that could be scary sometimes. It could be scary to have those walls collapse because all of a sudden you have all of this space and all of this potential, but then everything's like, whew, it's very, very, very far from you and you don't know what you're supposed to focus on. Um, and that could be very, very scary. But when you have a brand, but you're building a road and a structure that actually suits you, your personality, your needs, your goals, your desires, whatever you want in your business. The other thing that personal branding does for you is that you show up with full confidence. You're showing up to help. You know what you're offering. You know who you are. You know what your business stands for. And you know exactly the kind of people that you want to help. When you have that level of confidence, your value goes up. And I don't mean your monetary net worth value, okay? Your value as an entrepreneur goes up because people want to work with somebody who is confident, but not arrogant, okay? There's a huge difference between being confident and being arrogant. And trust me, I've worked with a lot of arrogant people in my life, especially in the world of government, where people's egos are like so high, they can't see the ground. You need to bring that down a notch, but do not undervalue yourself. And this is why it's so important that when you own your business, you don't act desperate, okay? Is that really gonna help you in your business? Because that means that you're gonna start to attract more people like that. And in the long run, that's gonna sabotage you because you are now diminishing your brand, you're not sticking with the script, and you are not sticking with your initial goals. Don't do it. You are the right person to fix their problem and your branding is gonna show them. Your personal brand is all about you showing up, being in front of your business, showing them the confidence that you are the only person that can fix their problem because of your background, your history, your personality, the confidence that you're showing off, the vibes, energy. I mean, energy for me is a big thing. That's like my vibes. I'm energy, guys. I'm all of the energy. And what you show is gonna be the things that your clients want to see. So my job as your brand consultant is to help you figure out your brand with you being in the business and in front of your business. If you are interested in working with me, check out my website. Go to www.bossdiplomat.com. Follow, like, subscribe, and I cannot wait to see you on my calendar. Join me for the brand blueprint 
or the social media strategy or image consulting. There's so many ways I can help you and you're going to find out all of this information the more you and I get to know each other through Be Your Brand. Can't wait to see you in the next segment. Have a good day, guys.